John is the deputy director and scientist and task lead for the NASA Exoplanet Science Institute at Caltech. And she has been active uh, in the exoplanets and the technosignature field for quite some time. And uh, two years ago, Don was uh, uh, co-organizer for the NASA Technosignatures Workshop, as she's you know uh, sharing the screen here with. And Don is going to talk about uh, uh, the details of the technosignature from NASA perspective. Thank you, Don. You're welcome. Thanks, Ravi. Uh, first, I hope I just want to say I hope everybody, wherever you are, or that you're all safe and healthy. Um, and hopefully we can see each other again in person in the not too distant future, but who knows. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, welcome to everybody around the world. It's kind of early here on the west coast of the US, but I know it's really late for some of you. So um, as Ravi said, I'm the, the deputy director for the NASA Exoplanet Science Institute. Uh, I also wear a lot of different hats for, for NASA. Um, I'm a co-lead for uh, NASA's Nexus for Exoplanetary System Science. I also run the, the exoplanet part of the NASA Hubble Fellowship Program and um, all of NASA's time on the two 10-meter Keck telescopes in Hawaii. So those are kind of the big, some of the big programs that I run. Um, if you have questions about any of these, feel free to send me a message on Slack or, or email. Uh, but as Ravi mentioned today, um, this morning I'm going to talk about uh, the workshop that kind of kicked off techno signatures from a NASA point of view. Um, that was two years ago. Uh, it was called the NASA Techno Signatures Workshop, and we held it at the Lunar Planetary Institute in Houston. And here we go. Okay, so. Um, the workshop was put together really quickly. So um, in June 2018, um, Lamar Smith, he added language to the House Appropriations Bill that um, if it was approved, it would have added $10 million to NASA astrophysics um, in FY18 and FY19, specifically for technosignatures workshop, uh, technosignatures research. Uh, so a couple weeks after this happened, I was um, I was at the, the AAS meeting and Paul Hertz walk up, walked up to me at the opening reception and he said, I need you to do something for me. I said, okay, what? And um, he said, he explained, you know, about this, this language and the House Appropriations Bill. And he said, we have no idea about techno signatures about the state of the field or what's going on or anything like that we need a workshop. We, we need something put together to educate us on what's going on with this field. And, um, and so I said, okay, well, you know, when does this need to take place? And he said, oh, by the end of the end of the fiscal year. And, um, and so I said, okay, yeah, uh, you know, September 2019, now this was June 2018, mind you. And he's like, no, no, no end of this fiscal year. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so that was super fast. Um, so the first person I called was Jason Wright, of course, because um, I knew he, you know, he, he's vitally a part of the techno signature field, and I was not. I'm still not really, but I kind of feel like it's, I don't know, maybe one of my, my kids these days. Um, so I don't actually work on techno signatures, but, um, but I really love it. Uh, I love the field. And so, okay, so I, I asked Jason and we put together this workshop really quickly. Um, the workshop had to have uh, a report and that report was going all the way up to the White House. Um, and uh, as, as well as a report, NASA itself put out um, an RFP for uh, to see if there were any philanthropic or um, or private entities that could partner with NASA because ten million dollars, while it might sound like a lot, is not actually a lot to do, uh, you know, to have a big techno signatures program. And so they were they were say, seeing if NASA could use this ten million as seed money um, to help another organization, um, you know, really kick this off. So, okay, so we had the, the workshop uh, at the end of September, as close to the end of the fiscal year as we could. And uh, we had 51 in-person participants, many of who are part of this meeting too. So it's nice to, to see, to see uh, all of your names and hopefully I'll see a lot of your faces. Um, we had 40 scientists online also, and it was also streamed on NASA TV. And so we had 4,100 4, public also watching. Um, we had a Reddit AMA that there was a whole big thing around it. Um, 
despite a lot of challenges, um, Jason and I actually got the report submitted to headquarters um, within two months of the workshop. Um, and it was presented to the White House in April of 2019. So that was, um, that's what kicked all of this off. So uh, the workshop had four main goals. So the main goal of, of the workshop, like I said, was to um, to educate NASA headquarters on what technosignatures were, what was the state of the field, and what possibly could we do in the future. And so, you know, the first goal was to define the current state of the field, um, and then understand the advances that could potentially be coming near term and then further in the future. And then uh, to talk about this, this role that NASA partnerships could play in all of this. So um, I'm, hope, I'm assuming that everyone has read the Technosignatures reports. Um, uh, Jacob um, posted it in the, I think it was the Key Papers Slack channel. And so if you haven't looked at it, I, I suggest that you do. Um, it's 60, 70 pages long, but um, I'm, cause I'm just gonna go through an outline. I'm not gonna talk about it in detail. Uh, so, okay, start by course, defining what a technosignature is because the folks at headquarters didn't really understand it. Um, then we went through the axes of merit that we're going to hear um, Sophia Shape talk about in about an hour or a little bit less than an hour now. Uh, and then, you know, how interdisciplinary the field is and how mature the field was. And so I'm going to read this. It says, to a large extent, getting good answers to the questions posed by the workshop is not a matter of asking the appropriate experts to synthesize information that already exists. It will require training and supporting scientists to do the work necessary to generate that information in the first place. So I think a, a running theme through the report was that there really isn't a field because there hasn't been funding uh, in the past. And so the amount of technosignature work that's been done is really because people have done it kind of in their spare time or as a secondary uh, secondary science um, to other big surveys uh, that are that were going on. So um, then we moved on to setting expectations. So because people want to know, okay, you haven't made these these detections, but how close are we? And so you know, we first have to explain that you know the rigorous upper limits were difficult to define, and we noted the reasons, and then, but then we had to give some sort of estimates. And so there are estimates based on all of these different techniques. We then moved on to, okay, what's the state of the art right now? Um, you know, spanning a lot of different wavelengths, so radio technosignatures, optical and infrared laser technosignatures. Um, we talked about algorithms and search strategies and searching for more exotic uh, signatures. And, um, and then again, all of this stuff, just noting, has been done on a spare time basis. And so there's no formal structure or timeline. Okay, what could be, we moved on to what could be done near term. Um, basically, there's a lot of, there's a lot of potential, right? And nobody knows that better than the people at this meeting. There are a lot of different facilities out there that could be used and a lot of different strategies and, um, and target lists. And so we talked about these, um, as well as the potential for industry or private sector partnering, <clears throat> most notably with data storage and access and data processing and uh, analysis tools. And then we took a little bit um, longer view into the future and um, <clears throat> you know, looked at communication technosignatures, um, what, uh, and the fact that to move forward, we really need dedicated surveys and instruments designed to detect these signatures, um, and then try to think of ways that uh, to catalyze significant, significant advances in the field. Okay, so this is my last slide. Um, so what has happened since then? Uh, well, so the, the report went to headquarters, and then it went up to the White House, to OMB. And uh, we've seen several changes now, which is great. So um, first, the XRP program. So these, these numbers here, if you're not familiar with NASA Speak, these numbers here are all uh, different programs within the NASA's, NASA ROSA's um, uh, funding structure. And um, so they're, each number 
is a different funding source, basically. Uh, so XRP, all exoplanet proposals now need to go through XRP. And um, it's, all, it's interdivisional for all four missions, oh, sorry, all four divisions within the Science Mission Directorate. So astrophysics, planetary science, heliophysics, and earth sciences. And it actually actively encourages observational, archival, and theoretical investigations focused on the detection of signatures. Um, the detection of techno signatures, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, also, ADAP, uh, they used to explicitly reject techno signature studies, and they took that language out, so that's good. Um, although now you don't put your exoplanet uh, proposals into ADAP anymore, but. Um, I suppose you could probably still make a case for putting in a techno signature proposal to aid out. Uh, exobiology, um, I think Jacob mentioned that this morning. Um, so techno signatures is actively allowed, of course. And actually, there's already been one techno signature program awarded. So that's that's really great. Um, I know that I've been asked by several folks at headquarters for names of reviewers um, because, again, most people barely know how to spell techno signatures. And so, uh, you know, getting the, getting the people on the panels that can actually advocate for these proposals and explain to people that it's not just, you know, I don't know, looking for technology by little green men um, is, I think is, is a, an important step. So I'm glad that people are, are asking me who, who they can ask to put on these panels. So if you are asked to be on a panel, please don't turn it down. Um, if, you know, if you can do it, please don't turn it down because I think it's important. <clears throat> um, then uh, ICAR proposals, uh, so Interdisciplinary Consortia for Astrobiology Research, those proposals were just due, they're under review right now. <clears throat> we know of at least one techno signature proposal submitted there and we'll find out um, soon, hopefully, whether that was uh, accepted or not. And then of course, this meeting right here was actually supported by a TWISC proposal, the Topical Workshop Symposia and Conferences. And um, actually, I guess the very first, now that I think about the very, the 2018 Techno Signatures Workshop was also, um, was also helped by a, by a TWISC proposal. Um, but it really, the charge really came from Paul Hertz himself. So we made it happen however, however we could. Um, <clears throat> so NASA is, now actively thinking about techno signatures, it does not, so we don't have the funding, just to, so back in 2018, um, that language did not survive the House Appropriations Bill, um, <clears throat> so that 10 million never came to fruition, but it did actually make NASA see that it's, that it's a field. Um, and I think this workshop here this week is, is good, and, and I'm, I'm really, I'm happy to, to know that there's going to be a report that comes out of it. And, <clears throat> you know, I'll do my best to make sure that the folks at headquarters uh, see the report and, you know, and understand it. And because I don't think we have anyone from headquarters coming this week. Um, we probably should have asked Michael New, but I, I did invite yeah. Michael New Lindsay, ah. and, and Mary Wojtek. So we'll see if they drop by. Uh, okay. All right. Then I'll send both of them an, an email when I'm, done with this in a minute and just remind them. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I think that's that's about it on my end. Um, the fight goes on, but we've seen positive changes. So um, I think this is this is great that we're doing this this week. Thanks. <laughs>